come with me as I head to Stand Up, Alberta, where this weekend they have a heat warning and they hit as high as temperatures of 41 degrees Celsius. Let's see how I make out through this weather. Good morning everyone. Uh, we're just gonna drive up the street, take a shower. It's uh, I don't know what time it's now. 9.23. Had a really good sleep. Um, only had to wake up once to use the washroom, which is pretty good for, for me. Depends how much water I drink. Uh, I drink a lot of water, but Frick, the washroom is so far away from where I'm camped. But I just, yeah, I just get up and go wherever in the middle of the night. No one's awake anyway, so. <laughs> TMI. But that's, uh, we're just gonna go drive right across the street, get a quick shower in before uh, anyone else wakes up. Thing with power is right, you gotta get in there before everyone else gets there. We still gotta get sleep. It's a balance. So that's why, like, right away, the first thing in the morning is I like, get up, I have my bag ready, everything ready, and then I uh, just run right over, run, drive wherever, right? Because sometimes some powwows, uh, their washers, their bathrooms, or whatever, aren't anywhere near power ground so sometimes you gotta leave been lucky these last couple of powers are just right there but this one's a little bit farther away could have walked but I'm gonna save some time drive over so I don't lose uh, some, some, some time I just get in there shower and bounce yo so uh, we are here now right across the road we're gonna park here we're gonna run up shower and then we'll come back and we're gonna get something to uh ooh, something from bc nice oh god yeah eat so i'll pick you up when i go eat we have our uh station set up this morning for cooking i'm showered go over there today we're gonna just be doing uh just plain straight up egg whites because I uh, couldn't find enough packs of eggs, which is six. Sometimes you can buy like half a pack. Couldn't buy any this time. So, we got just straight up egg whites. Let's probably cook the whole thing. Because usually I have two eggs and then a half of this. <coughs> We'll just cook it straight up, all of it. Grab the spatula this time, so I can cook with the spatula. Our citrus garlic. Citrus garlic. Salt pepper. Stash of citrus salad. Lots of salt. Pepper. Good. Coffee's already boiling. Turn that down. Coffee's boiling too much. Forgot. I got. I didn't forget almond milk this time. Got an almond, almond milk, so we're good on that. Let's go cook our eggs. 
Oatmeal's already uh, good to go. It's over here in the corner. It's starting to get busy now. Didn't wait too long for the showers. I waited like 10 15 minutes. It's not bad. I thought it was going to be longer than it was when I first got there. It kind of made it seem like it was going to be longer. And uh, it wasn't. So it wasn't that bad. Uh, now we're going to just cook our breakfast, get ready, do it all over again.
We're going to ask just our youth dancers and our blackbirds. Hey!
Also, uh, just a quick shout out there to the uh, Lemonade vendors out there, if you can hear me. My name is Elgin Reeves of Child. I'm just kidding. My name is Reverend Littlehead and Alvin and I are up here and uh, we want to uh, know who has the best taste in lemonade. And uh, we'll gladly give you a shout out. If not, okay then, ask him for a friend later. Alright, anytime you're ready, Dallas Stays, we're ready to go. We're going to go on with Walking Buffalo three times a time. suit up at all. Um, it's nice just to chill out. I'll check what these people are doing. Stop by.
Just vlogging. What's that? I'm just vlogging. How's it going? It's alright, oh, it's nice and cool in here. Yeah. It's a camera. Say hi. This is Peter. This is Peter. Say hi, Peter. Oh, <laughs> this is Emily. Megan's baby. Oh, nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just working on my nice. I was just going to check out the Powell, see what they're doing in there. Yeah. We don't have to dance until well, us anyways, until like 8.30. Uh, Junior ministry. There's no, there's no second grand entry. Uh, We're just going straight through. Have you seen the schedule yet? No. It's on, their, it's on their Facebook page. Which one? Uh, Indian Days. I'll just message you right now. That's why I will have all told me about it, so. Oh, okay. No second G. Somebody wants to see what they're doing. Oh, no, I didn't. They're now still teens, I guess. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where is Megan? She's up there sleeping. Oh, she's taking a nap, yeah. Probably cold. Finally cold off. Nice. Yeah. Almost done your dress? I just looked at this now as I did. Like I had it the other way. I was doing all this line, all the way around. So I just now flipped it. Uh, yeah. Why, what? Get all those friends. Getting there. All those friends. All this stuff. It's a lot of work. Yeah. Two days it took me to do the sewing portion. Yeah. Two days. And I made my... This pattern from scratch because I didn't um, have any of my stuff with me. This is probably like hard to sew on. It is. I had to line it. Like I had to line it. Oh yeah. And I had to use that. Through. Yeah, that spray heat and bond, like the spray. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I used that, and then after that, I search everything. Search everything so it doesn't fall apart or poke me on the inside there. Um, but I didn't have my original pattern with me, so. This part here on the sleeves, the cutout, usually the cutout when you go, like the cuff part, mm -hmm. and it goes up like that, and it goes around like that. So this part right here that you cut out, the kind of higher and narrow this goes, the poofier and higher this oh, yeah. sleeve goes. So on my other pattern that I have at home, it wasn't up as much, so there wasn't much. Puffiness. Yeah, right there. But this one, so when I go to, because of the stiffness of this, so when I go to lift my arm up, this design, I when I tried it on already, when I went like this, that design went like uh, up here, and I'm just like, oh, yeah, it just felt weird. I wasn't used to it. Two days. Pretty good. Yeah. But it took me all this time just to do half of the jingles. Yeah, trying. But it, I keep messing around. Sending, sending <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking, I'm looking at the temperature. Is it? Yeah, higher 35. Yeah, today 30 and tomorrow too. She did this to the worst. What is it? 
Oh, I was recording her. <laughs> and I was doing that, I was scanning his shirt, and I was doing the cry face. Have you did the cry face one yet? No. Let me funny. see it. Let me see if I can find it. So we're going into the sacred powwow sweat lodge. It's a sweat lodge every powwow has. Are you ready to see what it is? <clears throat> sacred sweat lodge. <coughs> Gotta use the washroom. I'm going to my sweat lodge. I'll pray for y'all. Oh. Okay. We're going to go to uh, Polar once again. I lost my notes and I'm getting a call at the same time. Somebody wants a house. Okay, we're going to go back to Polar. We're going to do a straight full horn, so we can have all the dancers out now. Carol, you got to fix it all the way. Let's see. I'm Now you can see. Can I try after my chin? Yeah, just don't drop it. Get there, watch out. <laughs> that looks like camera head. Try to figure out that we can't move Ready? Go. <laughs> Oh no, camera head. And you're going to be on TV. We have ice cream. It's my turn to hold the camera. It's my turn to hold the camera. Three ice cream. What are you doing, guys? Oh, uh, Uncle, how did you did jump in? Huh? He did jump in and hit this punch. This, and then this knocked me in the head. Oh. No, be on TV. Hi, Jodis. Hi, I'm Jodis. How are you going to get the house? Good, we made it to the house. So we ate earlier. We had some chicken, chicken and rice and uh, carrots with some hummus. And now 
I'm gonna have some Kirkland uh, nut and seed butter and four rice cakes. There's probably banana on it. Uh, it's really good, quick, quick acting carbs. So it's really, really good for you. Um, they say carbs are bad for you, but that's a lie. Um, yeah, basically, just gonna have a banana. Do we have a banana? Right? Oh no, we already had a banana earlier. Had it with my protein bar, so I can't have that now. Oh well. We're just gonna have uh, this. This. On top of my rice cakes. It's pretty good. Enjoy it. It's good, healthy. Want a simple little snack, light snack, rice cakes and peanut butter. Or almond butter. Less sugar in it. A little messy though. Oh, it's, my mouth is a little dry. Mm. <clears throat> not, I'm not sponsored by them, but I picked up this um, hydro amino. It has EC, EAAs, BCAAs. And it has electrolytes in it. Electrolytes are what help your body when you sweat a lot. So if you're someone who physically is physically active or you're sweating lots, I highly recommend trying that out. Or trying out a, an EAA or a BCAA with more electrolytes in it. Uh, here in Canada, uh, TC Nutrition is called. This flavor is rainbow. Sherbet, rainbow sherbet. It's okay. It's like give it a six out of ten flavoring. Uh, the other BCAs I had, I like those better. The flavor, but they had other flavors. I should have got the rainbow rock if they had. That looked pretty good. I just throw one scoop of my water, mix it up, and drink it. Sorry for talking my mouth open, but that's what it is. <laughs> I don't know what to say. We we'll just sit here and watch me watch me eat, and I can talk. <laughs> but, it's been a super chill power, like a really chill. We didn't have the contest. We didn't have the grand entry. Didn't have the exhibition in the afternoon. It was just straight. Nothing. Didn't have to be addressed. Nothing. Um, no second grand entry here. They're going straight through because there's so many specials here, which is kind of cool. Uh, they're not wasting that extra about an hour, hour and a half on that second grand entry. They have so much staff right now on the in the community, so. That, that also allows them to just keep going through the whole power. Um, frick, if I would have known that, I could have got a hotel. <laughs> could have just stayed back in Lethbridge at a hotel. I figured it was going to run late because the last time I came here, the power ran late, like every night. And uh, I was like, there's no way I'm going to drive back to Lethbridge every night because Cardston's. Carson and Fort McLeod are both um, sold out of hotel rooms. So there's also a rodeo going on next door right now. So it's just, I was like, yeah, the only place you'd find a hotel would be in Lethbridge right now. Could have stayed in Lethbridge. But, oh well, this week we'll be staying in Bonneville um, for Frog Lake. A midweek, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Palo, and then we're going to go to Cuban and, and go there. And we'll probably camp at Cuban. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. 
Yeah. I'll have four of these. Um, really good for you. Super fast absorbing carbs. Really light meal. So if you're looking for a good healthy snack, have some of this. <clears throat> I could actually give you the macros on it right now if you wanted. Four rice cakes and two tablespoons of almond butter. 420 calories. Um, protein, 9 grams. Carbohydrates, 55. Fats, 20 grams. It's pretty good. Pretty good meal. 420 calories. Pretty good. Pretty light meal. So if you're trying to look for something that's not going to make you feel bloated and heavy and lethargic and you're feeling hungry, Grab yourself some rice cakes, some almond butter, or some of this Kirkland stuff, and have two tablespoons full on four, four of them. And then if you want, you could add a banana on it, which add, would add some more calories. Not very many though, but it would be good for you for potassium and also for like cramping and things like that. But I had my banana earlier with my protein bar, so can't have it. Hold on. So, if you wanted to get a little, like, a little more spicy, you could maybe drizzle a little bit of honey on top, just a tiny bit of honey on each one. That would give you some uh, more sweet flavor to it. So, yeah. It's been a pretty chill day, not, not much has gone on, so staying out of the heat oh yeah this thing I had it tacked down on all four places on the on the legs and I had the ropes tied down too and I went out to watch watch some of the power and I came back and it was getting really windy and I was like oh it'll be okay my I seen it starting windy I'm like mine will be my tent will be okay when I come back and my tent's just like flipped up and over so I had to tie it down to my car uh, now it's like anchored down. It's not going anywhere. I just got to remember in the morning when I go for a shower that it's tied off. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll pick up the camera in a little bit now. I'm going to finish my meals now. And I'll start getting ready here soon for the men's traditional special at 8.45. Oh, <laughs> 
there it is. We're going to give the judges a moment to make their selections and then they're going to have a dance off with the juniors and teens that were selected a little while ago. Okay, uh, when this is over, when the contest is done, elders are asked to come forward and they have some food and gifts for the elders on behalf of Quaid. So, awesome deal. Anytime you're ready, Soro Rider. This is the championship round. Come over here, line up. Face the east and pray that they pick you. <laughs> now come line up over here, face east. Mating tail feathers and family stand by for the headdress transfer. Up. Woman's headdress straight up, transfer. All 
All right, Gail Skunk Cap is gonna pick the winner of the juniors. Sikumi Wagner, ladies and gentlemen. And this is your teen winner. Your team winner, Zerk Ring. Junior adults. Jesse Beavis Sr., ladies and gentlemen. And your Golden Age winner. Urban Waskowitz, ladies and gentlemen, your winner for the Golden Age section. How about a round of applause? And we got some consolation prizes for the rest of the dancers. Give them a big round of applause, champion dancers, every one of them. They're reminding the elders they have uh, something to uh, give you as a gift. And they also have some uh, food for you. They'd like to feed the elders and give them a gift to honor the elders on behalf of Quaid. There, and a gift. So that'll be how we start things off. And then we're going to have the first start. And then, gentlemen, on the second start, jump right in there. And I'll do the breakdown of how we're going to declare a champion for our men's traditional. It's a beautiful evening, ladies and gentlemen. It was a hot, hot afternoon. The things have cooled down. Dallas is in the house. Good to see you, brother. We're gonna get started here. You just give me the high sign anytime you're ready. All right, Soul Rider, take it away. Here we go. First start, second start, everybody. Steve Hunt. Steve is a married in such a guy to know the Asian man. It is an honor for me to be asked to dance with Kirby and Ashley's wife's son, Breakin' Wiles, and his initiation into the powwow circle. Our family is known for traveling to powwows all over Canada and the United States. Recently, we finished hosting a lead lead by example power in Strathmore with such a guest of such a kind nation in honor of our son, Kristen a young man. Also shares our first nation history throughout performing our dancing. We encourage Bacon to pursue his dancing and sharing our culture. Be proud of who you are and where you come from. <laughs> it's gonna be a good one. We got our judges already lined up there. Breaking, of course, is the son of Kirby and Dea Wow. 
Lincoln has five brothers, Kimper, Decker, Wacy, Skip, and Tim, and a sister, Layton. Hi, dancers, stand your style! Tell your story! Ha, ha, ha! Show your appreciation by your round of applause for all of our traditional dancers. I will give the boys a little breather there. All right, we're going to go back to Saul Ryder. We'll check on the Kentucky. And Junior Golden Age Women's Traditional, stand by. We're going to be going to you right away, right after our Men's Traditional Special. So, Ryder, it looks like judges are good. All right, we're going to pick five out of this group after this second song. So, Ryder, if you would, take it away.
Is that some good traditional dancing going? Well, thank you so right. That was a couple good songs. All right, gentlemen, I'll have you maybe face towards the crowd and we'll give our judges a chance to have a little meeting there and a little discussion. And we're going to find out, we're going to pick the top five out of this group right here. And we're going to one more final championship round. You know, the sun's going down and I know we got fireworks scheduled. Thank you to Myron, Eagle Speaker, once again providing our fireworks display. Should be kicking off in a hour or so. All right, judges, you're gonna pick five in no particular order. We got one. Terry Bonkey, Fort Belknap. Ladies and gentlemen, come on up here to the front with the family. Larry White Coraline, all right. Terry Rocky. And we have a All right, all the way from St. Carlo. Tim Rosebluff. All right. Eli Snow, Morley, Alberta. We got one, two, three, four, and five right here. All right. All right, thank you, gentlemen. Yeah, come on up, gentlemen. We got our five selected. We have a consolation. Oh, yeah, you're... Guy Wesley is our fifth contestant right there. The high side, Soul Rider, Mike Man there. Kirby. All right, here we go. Soul Rider, take it away if you will. change up songs for uh, the rest of the uh, competition. All right, gentlemen, judges, are you ready? You just give us the high five and we'll go with song number two here, the top five. 
Kirby Wilds and the Wilds family special, traditional. Okay, so Rada, we are ready on the floor. Thank you, gentlemen. All right, if you wouldn't mind, maybe face the crowd and I'll give our judges a chance to congregate there and uh, come up with our winners here in the traditional. Once again, Breaking Heavy Shields is uh, sponsoring the family, are sponsoring this traditional special. A big thank you to uh, the Wilds family. They had a total of three specials here today and this is the finale this evening. The men's traditional dedicating it to Breakin who has uh, Breakin is going to go on, what you going? Five or one? Where are you going? Starting from one? Alright, we're going to win the window. We're going to pick the champion first it looks like. Breakin, anytime you're ready. Eli Snow, Molly Alberta is your champion. Ha, ha. All right, now we'll make our way down to number two. Who's going to select number two? Come and stand over here, my friend. Congratulations. And... Larry is going down to the east side. Who's it gonna be? Larry White, ladies and gentlemen, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Oh, hey! Right on. Larry takes second. Now we're gonna go to third place. Who's it gonna be and who's gonna select? Right over here. Guy, Guy Wesley, ladies and gentlemen, third place, Guy Wesley, right on, fourth place, Terry Rocky, fourth place.
it's 1.56 a.m. We are undressed, as you can see out of my regalia, laying in bed. Um, this is my feet. They're not touching, almost touching. That's the stuff I put up. It's kind of fallen because of how hot it's been. But it still keeps it dark in here. It's still dark out. Um, that's my H hydration or whatever. That's my Zevia. That's my little uh, nightlight. It looks like a, looks like the old lantern. Do you know what the, the old oil lanterns? Yeah, this is how I sleep, and it's too warm tonight, so I'm not using any blankets, just gonna sleep in my shorts. So that's what it looks like in here, and I still have like lots of room up here. I could push my pillows up further if I wanted to. Um, I could probably bring it up a little bit longer, a little bit, a little bit longer, a little bit higher, and uh, yeah, I could have a lot more room in here. Take my subwoofer and put it down, down below if I wanted have even more room but it's just me so I, I'm comfortable like this right now um next year I'll probably be getting a little RV I think well, not an RV but a travel trailer just to uh, have more of that convenience of um showering because uh showering on the road at Palos is hard, you know, that's just the trickiest thing. Sometimes the showers are good, sometimes they're not, but you gotta wait. And then if you're at a hotel, if the power ends late, then you gotta drive to where the, the hotel is. So if I would've got a hotel, I would've been in Lethbridge. So I would've been on the road driving. Would've been there by about probably 2.30. By the time you get in and brush your teeth and settle in, it's about three, then you gotta get up early, and then either you shower in the morning or you shower at night. You shower at night, it's, yeah, it's a lot. Um, that's just my, this is just me, and this is what I do in Palos. And I try to utilize sleep as much as I can, so. That's more about my lifestyle, and this is my lifestyle, and this is what I do at Palos. Everyone's totally different on what they do after a power, but this is what I, you, these are the things that I worry about and I focus on is utilizing uh, my sleep to allow me to, to function my best the next day. And it was a long freaking day. It was hot. It's like 35-ish. Tomorrow has to be like that too, so... Uh, for contest, we got a sneak up. It was, it was a good. It was, I was, I was honestly being, I'm being biased. I wanted to, I wanted to crow up. That's why I'm saying that. Honestly, I'm gonna be honest. I wanted to crow up. We got a sneak up, but um, and then there was a menstruation special. We got a straight, and then they got a double beat, which I really liked. Um, didn't make it in the second round. But that's okay. That's, it is what it is. Just went out there and danced. And then, um, just from the heat all day, I think I was just tired and I forgot to hit record. Uh, my batteries, one of them was at 16, one was at 10%. So I didn't want to like hit record. And then, because the women's junior women's tradition had two groups, and if I, I just, I don't know, some of mine, I turned it off and then I just forgot to turn it on. So I cropped the photo or cropped the video that I had, but that was recorded vertically on my phone. So what it turns out to is what it turns out. I'm sorry. That's, that was just me forgetting to hit record because I'm tired. Heat, you know, the heat did a lot to me today. And I, mean, I don't know if I've just, maybe I'm just not feeling. I, was, I wasn't feeling 100% dancing today. I think they're just because there was such a big, massive lull from that men's traditional special, told me contested. Because they contested all the senior adults. And then instead of going and raiding the juniors, 
they did specials. They had three specials in between. So we had like this massive lull. It was almost like an hour long between that. Well, two hours because of the seniors. I don't know why they did it that way. You know, they should have just contested everyone and said, hey, you know, if you want to dance in the special, that's up to you. But that's at the very end of the powwow, you know, not, not middle of the powwow where other dancers that aren't dancing in those specials could get undressed. I don't know. Every powwow is different, but yeah, they didn't make us dance this afternoon, which was nice. So I'm grateful for that. So I'm going to head to bed now. I'm tired. I'm going to get up early and shower tomorrow. So have a good night and I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah.